Hello everyone. In today's episode, we are going to talk about uh, a software that has changed my productivity by far and uh, my workflow is much more faster. I'm talking about Keyboard Maestro, which doesn't have nothing to do with this keyboard, but it does in a way. So Keyboard Maestro, it's a software um, and I'm not affiliated with Keyboard Maestro at all, but I just found out this program by doing my research on the internet and I bought a copy. So Keyboard Maestro, it's a program that lets you do quite complex tasks on your computer by creating custom shortcuts on your keyboard or other things. Um, it's a quite complete program. And there are many other things that you can do with Keyboard Maestro, uh, but uh, we are going to focus today on Ableton Live. The way I use the Keyboard Maestro on Ableton Live, it's the following. So if I wanna create, if I'm making music and I wanna create, um, I, I wanna have an equalizer, I do Shift 1. And here we go, I have an equalizer. I need a compressor, Shift 2. Here is a compressor. Uh, Auto Pan, Shift 3. I want to open my favorite plugin, Shift 7. Is that what? I wanna open, uh, a custom group of effect that I created, shift six, shift, not shift. And here we go. So this custom group, it's a sonar work reference with AB Road Vinyl and OTT. So Kibo Maestro has the ability to, um, well, I create custom shortcuts that will do one particular thing. Uh, and other things, if I wanna create a custom, uh, so if I wanna create a return track, usually it's quite of a pain in the ass so it's option command and t so you need to use two hands usually and i don't want to do this i want to do shift t and then i have my return track so i'm going to show you now keyboard maestro and uh, i am not going to to much deep with keyboard maestro because uh, it's really you know in the beginning can be quite intimidating because there is a lot of things to learn with keyboard maestro a lot of things to you know to discover uh, but and I, I use uh, Keyboard Maestro and to Live on a really, really simple term. I use it for Pro Tools as well, but I'm going to make another tutorial for Pro Tools. So on to Live, I'm going to show you the how uh, I extract an equalizer by doing Shift 1. Um, okay, so when I press Shift and 1, Keyboard Maestro will do, will simulate the keystroke Command and F because Command and F. When I'm here, I'm making music and I press Command and F, Ableton will activate the search bar that will search all sounds, all devices, all plugins, all tags, everything. So the general search field. So it will create, it will simulate the keystroke Command and F, and it will then insert the text EQ8. Then it will pause for 0.3 millisecond and it will type the return keystroke and it will select the device with another return keystroke. So just to show you, when I do Command and F and then I write a Q8 and I press return and I press again return, here is my EQ8. So with Keyboard Maestro, Let's say I am in drums and okay, I'm like, okay, I put the drums, I want an equalizer. Now pay attention to what's gonna happen here. Shift one, and it's doing this in one millisecond. And, and the same is, you know, for my favorite plugin. Shift seven is Quadra VST, is typing Quadra VST, it's gonna return and it's gonna add the uh, VST. So this is what Keyboard Maestro does. Um, I will put the link in the description on my channel. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, I, it's, I think it's $40 for the full version and you can create uh, an unlimited amount of, of, um, of things with Kibo Maestro. Uh, I can use Kibo Maestro for other things. For example, you know, if I want to, you know, go out of, out of Ableton Live, for example, I want to open my email. I just press Option, Command and hold the letter M for one second, and it will open my email, right? So this is what Keyboard Master is doing. It's um, 
It's a program that lets you do quite complex tasks by creating custom shortcuts. So yeah, um, yeah. So this is how to use Ableton Live and keep on my stroke together. If you like this uh, video, please uh, make a like and uh, see you on the next one.